All right, well, I want to welcome you all to live coaching. And my name is Susan Sly, and my focus, obviously, is to help small business owners and side hustlers succeed. I've got a special guest co coach tonight who's right here. I'm going to slide my chair over. Hello, everybody. <laughs> So this is my daughter, Avery. She is the social media marketing manager for Agency 8. And uh, she is an expert in Instagram. She manages accounts that total over 1.2 million followers. She also is monetizing on TikTok. Um, she's a paid TikTok influencer. So Cassie is like Avery exclamation mark. She's so excited to see you. Hi, Cassie. Avery's going to be starting a podcast actually um, in the coming months. And for our agency clients, she's going to be, if you're one of our clients, she's going to be interviewing you, featuring people who are out there building businesses. So I think Bruce, you're like number one on her list to interview. So just be ready for that. And uh, thanks, Pamela. Yes, my mini me. And uh, before we get started, I just want to share with you, if you haven't checked out our new YouTube channel, it is awesome. So all of the podcasts that I do are up there on YouTube, and I'll just share it with you. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I would encourage you to do so. And we have um, so many new how-to videos that are up there. So how to take your book to number one on Amazon without spending a dime. Who would like to write a number one bestseller? Yeah, hello, without spending a penny on marketing. So that's Jessica, likewise, is my guest on that one. Um, growing your brand on podcasts, how to face your fears with Tom Ziegler, who's Zig Ziegler's son. I recent interview with Dave Asprey is up there, how to grow a massive YouTube channel. So these are, um, a lot of these are speakers who speak at our Ultimate Marketing Experience event, but these are just snippets and a little teaser. So do check it out on our YouTube channel, which is fantastic. I'm just going to play a quick video. This is my other announcement for you. And then we are going to go ahead and get started. So let me start our video. Yeah, that's one to look out for right there. That's right. Yeah, I want to learn from her. Yeah. Oh, Avery. <laughs> Everyone else is great, too, but, you know. So we have our event coming up. It's next week, the 25th and 26th, and it is designed to teach you everything about Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, you're going to learn about YouTube, podcasting, and of course, Dave Asprey. Dave's latest company sold for $600 million. So an event like this, normally if it's live, is usually around $1,000 a ticket. So our event, because of COVID, obviously is virtual. And I wanted to do something really special. I've been asked by a few um, organizations to do masterminds where we charge people like $75,000. That was the most recent offer I received. And I'm like, absolutely not, because it's not in alignment with the people I want to help. So everyone who has a ticket is going to get a free five-month mastermind with me. And I'm also going to be there too. So you know it's going to be a party and there's going to be <laughs> wine involved somehow. I, I want to acknowledge also Christina earlier. She said, is there wine yet? Unfortunately, not yet. We've just got the water for now. Um, we're just getting ready for the wine. That's yeah. coming later. But yeah, I'm going to be tuning into the mastermind as well and uh, teaching you guys everything you need to know about social media marketing. We're really going to get into it over like 
two months or so. Um, we're going to have a lot of guests come on. You guys aren't going to want to miss it. It's seriously like my mom is taking so much time out of her schedule to really make this happen. And uh, I can't wait to join her on it. You know, it's going to be a party when the <laughs> two of us are together. It's just always how it goes. And it's going to be, the thing is also going to be very, very focused on KPIs, key performance indicators. So it's not, you know, it's not one of those things you show up and you're like, okay, I've got all this stuff to do and I'm not getting anywhere. So the first month we're focusing exclusively on Instagram. So Avery is going to be teaching as part of free, as part of the mastermind, Instagram intensive. So you'll up your profile. You're going to be focused on inc increasing your followers. We've got a whole month dedicated to just sales, generating leads, organic traffic, paid traffic. Um, it, this is all the stuff I, I keynote speak on, but I'm not leaving and speaking, right? So anyway, a ticket for this event for you guys, because you're here live, this price isn't available on the web anymore, is $147, including the mastermind. But you need a ticket, a coupon, to get that price. And Avery came up with a coupon. Here we go. This is her. This is all her. Wine time 50 at checkout will get you $50 off. Kiki's laughing her head off. <laughs> um, yes, wine time 50 will get you that price, but it's only um, for you guys because no one, right now it's 197 On Monday, it goes up to 497 and that's it. So that's your ticket price. I know some of you already have tickets. So anyway, with that, those are all the announcements. Let's get into the first question. Sharon Hall was like right like out of the gate. This girl must have had like caffeine or something. I don't know. Where's her question? Sharon. <laughs> Sharon, do you want to come out and ask the question? Hi. I had to think for a minute what my question was. <laughs> it was about an um, app on posting. Should you yeah. Is there an app? Okay. Sorry. Is there an app for Facebook and Instagram that you can pre-schedule your posts. Yes. So I personally use um, Hoot Suite. Um, it's Hoot like an owl sound and then sweet like a hotel room. Um, <laughs> um, so that one's really good. It lets you also schedule the captions and you can, um, or sorry, it lets you write the caption in advance um, and you can post on both. Um, another one that I've not personally used, but um, Kieran recommends using later. Um, he said that that one is really good and he uses that for himself. So those are two options you can use. I personally use Hootsuite, um, haven't used later, but that's the one that Kieran says he would prefer over Hootsuite. So I would check them both out. And something just to throw out there is that with Facebook, which owns Instagram, those algorithms know when you're posting or not. Um, Google has some sick AI, as you guys know. I'm a co-founder of an AI company, so I'm really all about what's going on with AI, especially with social media. And the Google AI knows if, let's say Karen Kent, if Karen wrote a blog or had hired someone to do it, if Karen didn't write it and it was on her website, Google won't put it higher in the rankings. And the same thing is true. So when Facebook knows you're using Hootsuite or using any of the planners, they don't push it, your posts as high in the algorithm. So something that I do to kind of work around that is, as my mom said earlier, I, ran, I manage a lot of Instagram pages. Um, I don't, I can't really speak to Facebook, but there is a tiny workaround here. Um, usually I will just schedule, I will create drafts. Um, my phone's about to die, otherwise I'd show you. But when you go through all the processes to post on Instagram, and I think you can do this on Facebook as well, um, because I mean, they're owned by the same company. But when you go through all the steps, post on Instagram, um, you write your caption, everything like that, then you just back out. Um, it will give you an option to save it as a draft. I do that with all of the car pages I manage. So I'll go in and spend maybe 30 minutes finding drafts, putting them all in there. So then when I go to post, I can just select one and then post because it will save your caption, it'll save your location, it'll save if you've tagged anyone. Um, and then for Facebook, obviously, if you're posting the same content uh, to Facebook that you're posting on Instagram, once you've made that post live on Instagram, you can share it to your Facebook as well, and then that will help. And then you can just have one draft that will go both places. But if not, Hootsuite or later are the ones to go with. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Who's got the next question? A question on your brand, your business, your life. 
One of the questions that's just put up there, <clears throat> what is the name of the app that can be used to convert a YouTube video to a podcast? So <clears throat> when, you're you, when you're using, um, when you're creating a video, whether you're doing a Zoom interview or however it is you're gonna choose, there, and by no means, we have a team that does all of this. So um, they run it through some scrubbing software so it sounds really good, and then they convert it. So Beth, what I'm gonna suggest you do is just message in, and I'll make sure one of our team answers it because I, it, it's gotten so complex for me now, I have no clue. <laughs> I just show up and I record the interview. That's what I do. <laughs> All right, is there a step-by-step -step guide for doing Facebook and Instagram when you're doing the basics, very basics now? And Christina, we're gonna cover Instagram basics definitely in the mastermind, but what, you know, what specifically, I guess, can we help you with? If you could do anything to crush it on Facebook and Instagram right now, what would you wanna know? Oh, wow, <laughs> that's a big question. Um, I was very nervous doing social media in the beginning just because I'm a private person and I, you know, you have that stereotype with everything. So um, I've learned how to manage it to where it is just for business and connecting with people and I don't get caught up in all the nonsense. So I think I've done really well with connecting with people. Um, my Instagram has over a thousand. I'm only at like 300 for Facebook but it's just understanding those rhythms because I know now you have to kind of comment on people's page, which I've been doing and more people now have been reaching out to me asking me, Oh, what do you do again in your business that, you know, you've been posting things and I've gotten more bold with posting personal stuff. Um, so then what would be like, is there a next step or you just let it flow naturally by just creating it bigger and bigger and bigger? Or is there like, what, what? I mean, because obviously the goal is to get more customers, correct? So, yep. or let them see you. So you just kind of naturally let that flow or are there other little hidden tips that? Oh, there, there are hidden tips, right? So, <laughs> you know, you don't just wake up one day and have thousands and thousands of followers. It's really, there's a, there's a couple things. So if you guys want to grow your followers, um, the, the following tips, I have some tips, and I know Avery has some tips. So number one, you have to post when you, the, your ideal customer is online, right? And so you're going to have to get creative with that. And so if you're using Facebook um, as a business page or you have your Instagram set to business, the analytics are going to show you when the people are engaging the most. And so that was something I had to learn because I spent so much time growing my Facebook fan page to almost 700,000 people. And I wasn't even doing anything on Instagram. And then I was like, suddenly I had like 15,000 followers. I'm like, I better pay attention to this. And so what I found for me, Christina, is, you know, the people who really engage with me on Instagram, are um, generally 35 plus it's Tuesdays and Wednesdays and other than that my posts don't get the same amount of traction so one is who is your ideal customer number two is when are they on there number three is what content can you post that is going to engage them so on Instagram it could be a poll it could be a question um, the thing I'm gonna counsel all of you is that Instagram <clears throat> when you're posting on Instagram the, the, the quality has to be higher. Like I was out with some girlfriends last night and we did a selfie and it was dark at the restaurant. That does not go on Instagram. That is fine on your Facebook wall. Um, today I was getting ready for business. I've been like, go, go, go all day. I took a selfie and I'm like, this is not good enough for Instagram, but it went on my story. Right. And got a lot of engagement there. So I know you want to add some things. <laughs> yes. I'm just ad libbing with the emotions. Uh, yeah. So definitely. Um, if you have not set up a business profile on Instagram and you have a business page on Facebook, you can actually link them. Um, I will, as, oh, that is not my phone. Um, I will walk you through super fast. As long as my phone doesn't die, I'll walk you through the steps right now super quickly. Um, so you're going to go to your profile page and you're going to see in the top right corner, there are three lines. Um, you guys can feel free to pull out your phone and follow along. If you don't know if you have one, also follow along. So when you hit those three lines in the top right corner on your profile, you're going to go to settings and then you are going to go to, let me find it real quick. Okay. There's an option called account, which is 
third from the bottom above the line, which I know is really difficult to, it's right below ads and right above help. Um, you're gonna click on account and then there's two options down there in blue font, which you can see mine says switch to personal account and switch to business account because mine's labeled as a creator account. That's because I'm not personally trying to sell anything on my Instagram. If you are a business, um, set it as a business account. You can get some really fun features from there. Most importantly, analytics, um, which as my, um, as everyone that's taken a course with me knows, I like hammer the analytics every single time. And I'm going to be talking about this in Yumi um, as well. Um, I plan on really kind of going, doing a mixture of like basics, but also some more advanced stuff to really, I'm going to tell you what to post, etc. cetera. Um, and I'll go over this as but yeah, so just click switch to business account. If you're a personal brand, um, it, like for someone like my mom, for example, I would advise that you create, do a creator account, um, but that's up to your discretion, creator business. It just depends how much your face is behind the camera. Um, and uh, yeah, so then once you have that, I'm gonna also tell everyone, um, if you just set it up just now, you won't have any data filled in for your analytics but if you already have a profile um, go to, um, sorry already have a business or create a profile go to your profile page click on those three lines in the top right and you're gonna click on insights which is the third option down you're gonna get a menu that might look somewhat like this um, it might look like the old one but just I recommend playing around with it again I'm gonna go really more in depth with this um, in the future in the mastermind and at Yumi um, but if you want to look and see when your followers are active, which is what my mom recommended, and I also recommend, um, just click the option that says followers, scroll to the bottom, and it'll say most active times. Um, you can break that down by days, you can break it down by hours. Um, for me, my followers are really active on weekends at noon, so that's usually when, when I will post, um, but you'll see if that's different. You can also go in there. Um, once you play around with it a bit, and I'll do this as well, once you figure out your KPI, which my mom, also, as she said earlier, is your key performance indicator, um, it doesn't just have to be followers, um, but you want to obviously generate conversions. You want to generate sales. So what does a sale look like to you and what indicates a sale? Is it someone calling you on your phone? Is it someone emailing you? Um, however, or is it someone sending you a message? However that looks, analytics, you can break down your posts by which ones got you the most emails, which ones got you the most phone calls, which one got you the most website clicks. If you just want people to listen to your podcast or watch your YouTube video, put that in your bio and you can see which posts people went to and then followed through from your post, went to your profile and then went to your link. So figure out what your KPI is and then you can actually track that in insights as well. So definitely use that. Comment on other pages in your niche um, and respond to every single comment you get on your post. That's not weird. Yes. That <laughs> not the, the, the weird people wanting to marry you. I had a woman reach out to me and was like, will you be my sugar mama? I'm like, no. I've There's, actually got one of those too. Yeah. Maybe it's the same woman. Weird. Okay. So the yeah. answer is no. The She's answer is no for I'm several sorry. reasons. No. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, so the, the part of this and it's for all of you is it, um, it's just social media is a job as a small business owner. And so one of the services we now have with Avery at the agency is she manages um, brands for clients. And so those are generally speaking, you know, brick and mortar businesses. We have a restaurant, we have a luxury automotive dealership. Um, but you know, it's the things you will learn in the mastermind. She's really going to help you. I'm excited to learn from her. We have a few more questions. I want to rock through some of these. So um, Amanda wants to know, what steps did I take to become a speaker influencer? So number one is really about earning the right in a very specific area. There are a lot of people out there. Um, you'll hear Gary V spout off about this. I've done a speaking event with Gary. Um, you'll hear him spout off about, you know, people who are out there being coaches and things like that um, when they haven't achieved. And so you, you know, you don't necessarily have to become a millionaire to give you credibility, but I'll give you some examples in our agency where we've helped people establish themselves. So as an example, Jessica, um, she, I coached her to write a book and she went from her idea to a number one bestseller on Amazon in 60 days. 
And so when I had Jessica on the podcast, she's credible because she did it with spending no money on marketing. She did a collaborative book. So she had all the different contributors post on their social media. Um, she had a very niche segment in the autism sector. And so it made her credible because she achieved number one. Um, and so you want to think about this. And there's an amazing podcast on our podcast site or on our um uh, there's amazing video or a podcast that you can go Spotify. We're everywhere now. Um, it's just everywhere we are, everywhere you are, we're probably there somehow. Um, but on YouTube or Spotify or iTunes, I interviewed this woman, Jacinth Ivy, and it's the how to discover your brilliance. And Jacinth gave an amazing activity, which is to spend 20 minutes writing out everything you are good at. And it doesn't matter. You might be a great baker. You might be great at you know, paper mache. I don't know. You might be great at Where's planning finding wine. and finding wine, choosing wine, yes. all those things, just not making wine. No, no, don't, don't no, do that. no. But <laughs> anyway, so, you, you know, and so you write out all these things and you figure out where am I legitimately an expert? And that's why we're seeing a lot of mommy influencers now because they have, you know, they've raised kids, right? So you can begin to think about that. So for me, um, one of the things I was always exceptional at and I was teaching at back in the 90s was being organized. And so when I started the whole Organize Your Life concept in the 90s um, and building on it to the point of the trademark and the book and what I'm known for and what I speak on, um, that was how that evolved. And there were some brands that, Amanda, I started and, you know, Sometimes you can take a brand to a point and you go, it doesn't fit anymore. And I'll give you an example. So the Have It All Woman was another brand. I did 20 events with women. We broke arrows on their throat to help them get breakthroughs, hunting arrows. We, it was amazing. Those events were incredible. I wrote a best-selling book. John Gray endorsed it. Jack Canfield endorsed it. But what I started to do was look at my analytics on social media and very slowly I had more men following me. And I went into a lot of prayer about it and I, I couldn't do have it all women anymore because I was raised by a single dad and Bruce wouldn't be in our community or Ralph wouldn't be in our community. And so I really had to shift that brand. So the other thing I want to say to all of you is, a, you know, a brand might, certain brand might take you to one level and then it's a different brand to the other. It's the same thing with a team of people. Some of you are in network marketing. The people that take you to one level might not be the people that take you to the next level. It's the same thing with hiring, friends, life, all sorts of things. So, you know, the other thing is really about the hustle. I cannot tell you, last week alone, I was quoted in Market Watch, Reddit, Yahoo Finance, a couple of weeks ago it was Forbes. I did an interview for Forbes. Ask Avery, how hard do I hustle? Like, very hard. Harder than anyone else I've <laughs> literally ever seen. And I'm surrounded by hard workers all the time. So, and for women, women in the speaking world still make about less than 50% of what male speakers make. Yeah. Women who write personal development books, their books sell maybe 20% of what male personal development books. Um, writers write on and it could be the same thing and so I'm sorry girls but it, you're gonna have to hustle three times as hard um, I I see um, people men on on Instagram and they might be posting about getting organized and and I'm like wow okay <laughs> you know and I know them they're friends of mine I'm like um, you know I'll, I'll tell you a story about Gary V I was doing an event with Gary in Las Vegas and I was teaching on Organize Your Life, and he, he came up after me. So excited I dropped my pen. Um, he came on after me, and he's like, oh, that nice lady, work-life balance. Work-life balance is for babies. And then I see Gary two years ago, and he's like doing this work-life balance video. And I'm like, what the heck, dude? And everyone's like, oh, Gary. And I, I freaking love Gary. But I'm just saying. Building a brand is a hustle. It's day in, day out. One of the things we teach people is how to get on television for free. Avery's been on the local Fox, ABC, I don't know which ones. I've been year. on a couple. Yeah, Jessica, we, um, we taught her the techniques she got in the New York Times. She was in For Forbes, I think. I don't even know. It's, anyway, so um, one of my other people I mentor, we got her on all the local big um, news affiliates in Dallas for her fashion brand. Um, it actually attracted um, a major influencer. Um, so, like, we teach you how to do all this stuff and do it for free, but you've got to hustle. 
and it's like nonstop. If you're going to be in the mastermind with us, you've got to be a hustler. You will be hustling and there will be some very specific KPIs. <laughs> the good news is, is that, you know, for us ladies here, do we have to hustle three times as hard? Yes. But are we going to look good doing it? Absolutely. That's true. And are we going to have a glass of wine at the end of the day after we finish killing it? A hundred percent. I want to quickly address, like I, I was scrolling through some of the questions here while my, my mom was uh, answering. Um, Victoria asks, do I post daily? Um, I don't know if that was for my mom or myself, but I'll answer on behalf of both of us. I've been encouraging my mom. See, I'm my mom's like behind the scenes Instagram assistant. You know, she gets access to my amazing help uh, all the time. Um, you know, <laughs> so I'm also very humble as you guys can tell. Yeah. So, um, basically for my mom and for someone who is, um, an influencer or a rising influencer, uh, whatever that looks like for you, I would recommend posting as much as possible. If you're a business, if you have, um, I don't know, if you're selling cat collars, try to post every day. Um, if you can post your products, post pictures of people in your products. Um, actually, I saw a statistic and people respond much better when it's a customer photo. Um, so for one of my clients, I'll repost customer photos to their page. Um, customer photos do really well. Um, and so for my page personally, I've actually started growing. Um, I'm hoping to hit 10K by the end of the year. So if you don't follow me, you can go check me out. <laughs> um, but no, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to reach uh, 10K by the end of the year, but I usually post about once a week, which I don't recommend doing, but I also don't have a lot of content. Um, so if you're a personal brand, go out there, make some content. It's like what we just said, you're going to have to hustle for it. Um, but the rewards are going to be great. Um, and then I saw another oh, question. Just let me throw something in there. Two things. Amy wants to know if you're an expert at drinking. Gary V started as the wine guy and now he's apparently the work-life balance guy. Go Gary. But he started his, um, he, he made millions with his family wine business, and he was an early adopter on YouTube, and they were just tasting wine. Um, Bruce, um, prior to COVID, he was doing wine tours in Sonoma. Um, so yeah, you can be an expert at that. The, I, there, um, my friend's niece was making $20,000 mil, 20 million, $20, a month at age 12 on YouTube making slime. 20,000 alcohol. No, she wasn't using alcohol. <laughs> Kim's niece. But 20,000 a month making slime videos on YouTube. There's yeah. a kid that plays with Lego and he makes like a million dollars a year. Toy reviews. Yeah. yeah. Um, I want, reviews are I also really want to good. say um, this yeah. is a public call to action for Bruce to take me on a wine tour when COVID's over. Um, and then I will become an expert at wine and then it'll all even level up from there. I also want to ask, someone asked, um, and this is really important too, before I forget, um, someone asked, do I use a camera for my photos or just my phone? Um, I have an iPhone. I, before this, I had an iPhone 7 and I was taking all my pictures on there. It doesn't matter what generation you have as long as it functions. Um, we actually just converted my dad from an iPhone 4 or something. He was, he was pretty far behind. Um, he was really, he was, he was still, okay, whatever. We're not going to, this isn't a debate. Even if you have an Android phone, they have better cameras than this. Um, and uh, that's just a fact. So you can a hundred percent do all of your content on your phone. Um, a lot of people are even saying you can like, you can even make this thing shoots in 1080 p. You can make your YouTube videos on here if you want. Don't go out and buy expensive camera equipment until you're making enough money where you don't have to dip into your savings, dip into your account, or finance a camera. It's it's not necessary. You can you can literally make enough money on YouTube with your phone to earn enough money for that camera. Um, and so no, I take all of my photos on my phone um, unless I'm traveling somewhere and I happen to get a photo on my camera. But no, I, phones are perfect. You don't need to go buy anything else. Absolutely. And if um, going back to Instagram too. After you come through the mastermind, um, we have a service we offer, but we're not going to give it to you until you come through that because it will automatically increase your followers on Instagram. But if you don't know how to create your content, there's no point in getting more followers. We do have services where we will manage brands. You can contact us about that. So um, there's a couple network marketing questions. I'll take those. I'm excited about that. Um, 
someone asked a question, you know, what if I'm just getting started in network marketing and, you know, do I need to do all of these things? Um, it's interesting how the industry has shifted. Um, network marketing is one of my favorite business models. Monday, my latest show comes out with Ray Higdon. Ray is a great friend of mine. He is a master trainer in network marketing. And Ray and I are talking about levels of risk in business. Network marketing has one of the lowest levels of risk right? Because you spend two to 300 bucks, you get started in a company as opposed to a McDonald's franchise that might be about one and a half, $2 million or doing a startup at Radius. Um, you know, we raise millions of dollars for that startup, right? So when you think about the level of risk, it is the lowest level of risk in my humble opinion, maybe selling your stuff on eBay is less risky, but, um, you know, when you're first starting out, um, back in the old days, I used to spend $3,000 a month. My phone bill was $1,500. Then I'd spend about $1,500 on ads and leads. And I want you guys to think about that. And now this business where you spend two to $300 to get started, I almost wish people had to spend 3,000 because they take it way more seriously than they do now. But um, the, the whole landscape has changed. I do not see anyone really rocking network marketing unless they have a solid social media profile anymore. Um, there are all people that do it just through social media. Yeah, there, yeah. Are, there are people who, who do network marketing just through YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. Um, you know, one of the top en enrollers on our team just uses Facebook, Facebook groups. I have another person, she'll recruit about 12 people a month off Instagram. She crushes it with stories and polls. And so it's become a necessity. And if you don't know how to rock your social media, that's a problem right so your social media is your new business card all right michael wants to know what are your tips if you've been off social media for a while and you're just getting back on yeah i have that question and then um ruth asked a question too wait uh i didn't know if michael wanted to hop out and ask uh that question i'm always happy to hop out avery Hello. nice to meet you yeah. um so for for years like i i have an instagram account a linkedin a youtube uh, Facebook. Uh, I want to create a, a you know, a, a me.com to go with the brand as well. Um, but it, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't necessary in the previous work I was doing to have them all going and I just let them fall off. Uh, yeah. So I, I need to go back on. So I started with Facebook again, is that this is the first one I picked up, but as I looked around, like after two years, the whole industry has completely changed. Yeah. So it's more of which one should I update first? and move forward with what's what's kind of a, a sequence order to get back into those i i think facebook is a good place to start um as a way to ease into it um i use it's i guess it kind of def depends on your avatar um for me if i go post something on facebook i get like three people that engage so also i think bruce comments on every one of my posts so i really appreciate that bruce thank you bruce is uh, awesome he is the best <laughs> um, but yes facebook is a great way to kind of ease back into it um once you understand the facebook landscape and you see what's going on there i would definitely re recommend instagram you're going to want to start posting on instagram um i don't i once took a prolonged break from Instagram because my phone broke um, and I was enjoying being disconnected so I just didn't fix it um, but it's gonna be a challenge at first and it may seem frustrating because a lot of people that followed you and may have forgotten that they follow you um, they may realize when you come back they're like oh I forgot I was following him why is he been active for so long and they might not follow you because they forgot that original reason why they followed you so I would just have to say don't get discouraged. Um, just start posting consistently. Um, as we explained earlier, get on that, see your, look at your insights. Um, those are really gonna help you find out when your audience is most active and to see if your target audience is your biggest audience on Instagram. If that's not the case, um, just kind of brainstorming, looking at other people that do what you do on Instagram, big names. Um, you can even honestly, um, like for example, if I'm going to use my cat collar example again, if you're, you know, selling handmade cat collars, look at, um, hand, literally Google it and usually whatever it is you do, um, or top winery Instagrams or whatever it is, 
go and Google that quickly and you will see someone somewhere has created a list. Go check out those people, see what they're doing, see what content they're generating and think about how you can emulate that content that's working for them because they made it on that list. Someone found them and thought they were awesome. Um, so that's definitely something I recommend. Um, in terms of LinkedIn, I would just say have your profile updated with everything that you're currently doing. Um, start engaging with people slowly. Um, LinkedIn is something that I personally my mom sends, I can speak to LinkedIn. yes she can speak more to LinkedIn um, but yeah definitely with Instagram just start getting consistent and don't get discouraged if your engagement isn't where you want it to be originally or initially but one fun thing that Instagram used to do and I haven't seen them do in a while but I don't know if that's just because my friends are super active they used to have a thing where if you post for the first time in a long time, everyone that follows you gets a push notification to their phone that says, Michael just posted for the first time in a while. Um, and I see people nodding their heads, so I think they've seen them before as well. Um, so if you post for the first time in a while, make sure that post counts. Um, because people are going to click and they're going to be curious about what you're up to and they're going to go check out that post. Um, so just coming, kind of coming back with, with a bang. And uh, I'm just going to do a couple things because there are, I want to answer Ruth's question. Yes. Ruth's, Ruth's question is, and I love this, I'm a resilient and divorce coach. And amen to that sister because it's needed, right? A lot of people go through a lot of pain. And we don't want to be selling with every post because no. people won't watch what we're posting and then the algorithms don't show our posts to people. The best way to sell your services is to use success stories to sell your services. So I want everyone to write that down. So if, if you know, Ruth doesn't have to give names because of confidentiality, but what she might do is something like, you know, say on her, um, you know, I, if I were Ruth, I would be focused on LinkedIn and I'd also have a Facebook business page. The reason I'd be on LinkedIn is because 96% of decision makers um, and C-suite executives and middle management people are all on LinkedIn. And I have coached people who've done really well with their businesses on LinkedIn. Um, LinkedIn is great because also LinkedIn is where the money is. So when you're selling something like a coaching package or anything that's you know going to be a thousand bucks or two thousand plus. Um, MIT, um, where I go to school right now, they advertise on LinkedIn because every course is over $5,000 basically. They're not on Instagram, right? They know where the money is, you follow the money. So what you wanna do on, I'm gonna go through LinkedIn because some questions came up. So please write these down. This is the kind of posts you wanna do. On LinkedIn, you're not posting the selfie unless you are like, a celebrity so you don't do that um, LinkedIn you're posting content you want to post unique content a unique content post might be um, a LinkedIn blog LinkedIn likes it when you do that um, LinkedIn will show you what's trending every day if you comment on that you're gonna be in the trend um, the next thing that you want to do on LinkedIn is LinkedIn video is picking up a lot of steam and LinkedIn live so if I was a resilient and divorce coach or any kind of coach I don't do private coaching but if I did I'd be on LinkedIn and I'd be doing I'd be answering people's questions so I'd yes. say hey private message me right now oh okay um, Bob has a question he wants to know whatever the other thing you can do on LinkedIn is you can sign up to be a LinkedIn mentor for free and Michael I would do that if I were you because of your background so when you're a LinkedIn mentor that means people can ask you questions about a specific topic so you can mm -hmm. turn it on or turn it off when I had mine turned off I frequently turned on sorry I had people all these people asking me how do I pivot in my career how do I start a side hustle that's what I'm known for right so I would be focused very much on LinkedIn and I would also direct message people too. LinkedIn is not where you pour your heart out and you're like oh my gosh you know I just I can't handle it of my life that's Facebook um, and let me give you LinkedIn is the country club okay Facebook is the you know the you know the 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 your HSA your um, HOA, 
where you gather and you kind of have a picnic and you talk about each other's kids. <laughs> Instagram is like the club. That's where you've got TikTok's your outfit. You've got to look good. Um, unless you're a Kardashian. Kim Kardashian yesterday posted a selfie of her with her boobs in her closet. Now, I don't suggest any of you do that unless you're a Kardashian because it's just going to be weird and creepy, right? So um, TikTok, to Avery's point, is like... They call it the Wild West. It's like community. a street party. Yeah. <laughs> I would say, okay, so actually, I also have an idea, just a, a fun idea um, for you in terms of content creation. The new trend, and this is important for everybody out there, this is a free tidbit from yours truly, um, something I've been really capitalizing on, on, on my pages, on my personal TikTok. So TikTok, whether it's here to stay or not, we can't, you know, speak to that yet, apparently. Um, we thought so, now not, but whatever, we're not going to get into that. TikTok has really changed the game and made 15 second video content the new kind of content that everyone wants to consume. However old you are, whatever it is you're doing, there is a way that you can use TikTok style content and really get it out there. So Reels on Instagram um, is a feature they've added. Uh, I go over this in UME. I'm not going to walk you guys through how to post it right now because I don't want to take too much time away and I want to get to these questions. But for someone like Ruth, for example, if you're a coach, um, how can you educate people broadly about what it is you do or, you know, top five tips for couples who are struggling? Um, you know, something like that or top five tips for people who just started network marketing. Whatever it is that your niche is, how can you educate them but also educate the broader world? Like a 13 year old kid can learn some, like tips about what to do if they're in a couple that's struggling. Not that their 13 year old relationship matters, but imagine if you see that when you're 13 and then you're in a relationship when you're in your late 20s and you're, you're struggling in that relationship and you remember the tips you saw um, from Ruth on Instagram on her 15 second video when you were a kid and you know the, there's ways that you can spread the impact um, if you're a lawyer if you're a doctor whatever it is there's a chiropractor on TikTok who shows people stretches he's like if you're feeling sore in your neck here's a stretch something super simple like that share the knowledge and Ruth one of the benefits of that and this goes for everyone as well is you're selling without selling you're putting the word out there that you know how to help people if they are in a struggling couple um, or going through a divorce or and you know you you've set yourself up as the authority like we talked about like Jessica did you're establishing yourself as a virtual authority and it may seem silly that this 15 second video has such an impact but I've really seen how far these can go I've learned so much on TikTok um, about everything and that's just one of my recommendations wherever you are just try to make 15 second video content that's educating people video content converts 78 percent more than any other kind of content mm -hmm. and there are blog questions i'm going to answer those in just a second so as part of your content deployment strategy what you want to plan and i'm sad because <clears throat> you i mean this year when we did it live last year we worked for like a long time hours on content deployment and everyone who left the room from the live event they had their plan and um next year the event's going to be in march we're going to do a hybrid so it'll be live whoever wants to come live and we'll live stream but and it's my birthday month so you have to come yes that's right and it's phoenix in march so it's beautiful um but you want to be doing video content and you know if you want to see someone who's crushing it depending on how old you are if you're 50 plus check out chris hogan's instagram chris hogan 360 he's one of dave ramsey's personalities and we love chris hogan so chris is doing a lot of like very quick organic video content from his home and it's awesome i want to talk about blogging so blogging is a great way to establish yourself as an expert now on instagram you're not going to post a blog but you can redeploy your blog on Facebook, you can redeploy it on LinkedIn. Um, the really good bloggers, they blog once a day. Um, the food bloggers, that's a great example. Um, blogging is also excellent for SEO, search engine optimization. So what Google looks for on your website, and we also have um, a service for clients where we'll design a website for you and we'll you know, do all sorts of cool stuff with your, um, you know, doing texting and all sorts of things. We'll run those for brick and mortar businesses. But 
Um, the reason I mention this is because if you have a website, it's your calling card and that is your site of commerce. A blog, what that's going to do is bring you higher in terms of the SEO. And so as an example, I used to blog um, once or twice a week and now I have so much going on in my life. I, I just, I haven't been blogging as much, but every blog on Susan Sly and there are hundreds of them, I wrote them all myself. But what, if you have old blogs, if you go in there and update them, Google gives you a gold star because every time you update a blog, it ranks you higher in SEO because what Google doesn't want are dead sites. Mm -hmm. So if you have a site and you can revive it, uh, just update your content, retag it, um, what Google sees is, oh, this was last updated on, you know, September um, 17, 2020, right? And they love that. So what I'll do sometimes is I'll go and I'll sit down um, for an afternoon, may I'll pour some wine if it's a weekend, and, <laughs> and I'll go in and update my blogs and I'll retag them and Google really likes that. But the other thing I would suggest is really contemplating vlogging. So um, in my network marketing business, we have a team training site and there's a vlog, that's V-L-O-G, if you don't know what that is. And so we record all of our training in video and it's up there on the vlog. So every time someone clicks on it, they're watching it, that is up in the SEO on there. I want to also say that um, one piece of content can go leagues and miles and football fields. Um, it honestly, it's, you know, one piece of, con I, and I was talking to my mom about this as well. When you make a podcast, for example, you now have an Instagram post, you now have a YouTube post, you now, honestly, if you want to make a reel about it and just do a quick clip, you can have a reel about it. Um, I would suggest, uh, I, I had someone in mind that I was going to recommend, but I'm just going to have to tell you guys that after because I want to power through this. If you have a blog post, and you can think of bullet points, do that 15 second video thing. And then you can say, check out my blog for more. If you are wondering how to make your blog content convert into Instagram, choose a quote, choose, you know, to take a selfie and quote yourself. You know, you don't have to say dash like, you know, Avery Sly at the end, but you can take that content and really put it out there in so many ways. Go check out food bloggers. Um, seriously, they will, or um, I think Travel and Leisure, they post a beautiful picture of some sort of destination. And the next one is like 10 beaches you should visit for under 50 bucks or I don't know, all these um, Travel and Leisure on Instagram. They are a really good example of using blog content and then posting it or Architectural Digest does the same thing. Um, they'll be like, oh, check out our article on, you know, Susan Sly's home. Um, unfortunately she hasn't been on there yet but soon um you know <laughs> like different stuff like that uh there's i would check out those two accounts just to see how they do it and then that will give you some ideas and just write these steps down for content okay you guys know i love to be organized it's my jam so this is going to help you tremendously because content creation is not that hard veronica is like should i pay someone for it no veronica you're beautiful you're smart Avery and I, no, don't pay someone for your content. Okay, so here's what you do. Number one, you think of a theme for the week. So I always have a theme for the week and it's usually inspired either by an interview I've done or something I've read. This week, my theme of the week was like, you know, having a clearing conversation with someone. I, um, I had something that had happened last weekend. I overreacted to it and I got really, really upset and I allowed that to like I couldn't even sleep and I was like carrying this baggage into the beginning of the week and I was like wait a minute you're Susan freaking Sly like you need to pick up the phone and have a clearing conversation so I called the guy up and I'm like hey listen I'm really sorry um you know this you know I heard that you had said this I was kind of startled and he said that's actually not what I said and I'm like yeah that's why I was startled because you know you and I have this agreement we're gonna have open communication anyway to make a long story short as soon as we cleared it we were laughing about it um, a situation that had been going on for a year resolved itself I got a new client in the network marketing world just so you know like um, that person came in with two that doesn't just happen like that um, I got an, an email for another company that I oversee that for a potential multi-million dollar deal and all this stuff happened after I cleared it so what I do Veronica and for all of you when something like that happens it's the theme for my weekly email and if you're not building a list you're not building a business I'm gonna tell you that right now 
your if your list is just your Facebook followers, that's Mark Zuckerberg's list. It's not your list. Like if you don't aren't list building, that's what we always say at the agency: build your list, build your list. So that was the mailer for my list. It was the theme of a quote card I did. It was the theme of a video I did. Um, I could turn it into so much more content. But you pick the theme, then you do um, you can do a blog, you can do a short form video, you can do a long form video, you can turn those videos into podcasts. Um, Ray Higdon on my show, he was like, I challenge people to do a video every day. And I'm like, dang, Ray, I can't do a video every day. He's like, Susan, I see your content. You have a video every day. It's just your team took a bunch of stuff and puts out videos every day. And I'm like, yeah. The other quick thing I'm gonna tell you, here, everyone lean in. You're not always gonna feel like making content. You're gonna be like, oh, I'm 50 and I have a pimple on my forehead or I've got some gray hair poofing out right there. That's me today. Um, that's why I have my hair like that. Um, you're, you're like, oh, the lighting isn't good or I didn't get enough sleep. So the other day to make my promo video for live coaching, I'm like, I'm just wearing so many hats. I'm like, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a hat video. Do you know, I asked my son to take my phone. I went in my closet. I got all the hats. Um, the dogs were barking in the house. There was a landscaper over and I was like, I can't find anywhere that's quiet. I had five minutes to shoot the video. We step outside. I'm like, okay, honey, just press. And I'm like, you're wearing so many hats. And that was the video to promote it. And then we put it through a piece of software called Headliner. It captioned it. I put it on Instagram. I put it on Facebook. I put it in Facebook groups. And that was just a piece of content done for 40 seconds. So stop overthinking it. You're always going to be like, I'm not pretty enough. I'm not handsome enough. I'm too old. I'm too this. Stop it. Just get your content out because there are people out there who need what you have. And you're being really selfish if you're so focused on how you look. You're not a Kardashian. Get over it. Like, now I'm preaching. It snaps. Um, yeah, we always have our preaching moments. Yeah. You know? But that's one of the things that I... I um, <laughs> That's one of the things that I taught when I did my Instagram basics course. And for all of you that were there, um, I had a question there. Oh, sorry. sorry. But it's okay. I remember what it was. Um, so, you know, one of the things is honestly just practice. And I know it sounds silly, but just practice taking selfies. Find out how to practice taking selfies. I also said, have your internal team. A lot of you live with somebody. If you don't, I've literally seen people prop their phone up on their dog. I did it. I prop my phone up on my cat. Um, and this, yes, you can get a $15 or whatever, $10, I don't know, on Amazon. And it will do for Instagram, you've got to do vertical or you yeah. can do horizontal. Get a tripod. Um, so here's, $15. My, here's yeah. what I was saying. <laughs> so either take the pictures yourself, um, I, I will throw in a free tidbit too. But, or just have someone you trust that understands your angles, that gets, you know, that if you, if someone takes a really good picture of you, for example, we've made um, my brother, our content guy in the house, he just takes really good photos. So we get him mm -hmm. to take our photos all the time. Um, and so another thing, if you have an iPhone, here's a pro tip. If you have one that does portrait mode, like this one, open your phone um, as, as the selfie, scroll over to portrait mode and then go in front of a window stay on the natural light setting go in front of a window and take some selfies and tell me you do not look like a model that is like window with natural light portrait mode on a selfie like looking at yourself and with natural light and that's the way to go it's it's infallible you win every time we'll do one now yeah, I just got back from Montana and I'm tired. Did I want to take a picture? No, but did I get one anyways? Because I know that someone can benefit from my content. Absolutely. <laughs> from your beauty? Of course. Um, yeah, I and then I look that. like my, I look like I've just had crack cocaine. So, you know, there's the delete button too. <laughs> exactly. And that's the thing. I, I think also the one, something that we worry about um, a little bit is you know we go on instagram and we see people post this one picture that's beautifully edited with scenery um if you follow me on instagram i have a great instagram did it take me one two ten photos to get that one photo no it took me hundreds of photos you know how many photos i take that i don't end up posting a lot but you got to take as many as you need to get that one photo if you feel good change outfits change locations 
if you have a day where you feel like a queen or a king and a model, take as much content as you can. Take advantage of that day where you feel good and look good. Change your shirt. It doesn't matter. Like, just make as much content as you can. There's a lot of ways to do it. And when you see people, I have friends on Instagram and they have like 200,000 followers and they just, they were some of the early adopters like to go over there. I know that these girls, they get a photographer to come in, they do a whole photo shoot every two to three weeks, and then they just deploy the content, deploy the content. I, this, if we ever have our show, this is called Raw and Real About Social with Susan and Avery. I posted this photo, I don't know, last week. I was like, I don't feel like posting. I'm in a mood. I don't even want to take a photo of myself. So I pulled this like old photo from like six years ago and I put it up. It's me drinking coffee and I get like 500 likes on it. I'm like, this is hysterical, right? <laughs> um, but you know, um, <laughs> you're, you're, I'll just let me finish this. So one of the things I learned from Avery is that the, the, like she will take photos and not always deploy them right away. And then, so what she doesn't want to post, she has content. And the thing I'm going to say to all of you, you know, whatever it is, if Michael goes hiking in the woods and maybe get some epic photos, he might not post them because maybe he has good content that week, but he can post them the next week. Yeah. Um, some of you know, David T.S. Wood, he's one of my best friends. David went to Greece for a month, but that was over a month ago. Boyfriend's still posting Greece. Yeah. Like, guys, stop overthinking it and just start posting. I have, um, yes, you, Sharon, you need a ring light. You need a ring light. You, you can do. find one on Amazon for really cheap. cheap, so do not spend an atrocious amount of money no. on them. Um, also, if you have a, I don't know how it works on Android, so forgive me. But um, you can, if you have whatever phone you have, um, your favorites folder, which I'm assuming they also have on Android, this is all content that I've taken and just saved up for a later date. I have about 100, I have 235 photos in there. So I have a lot, that's including some stuff I've already posted for sure. But that's a great way to keep it on, like keep it organized. Um, you can just keep it in that favorites folder and then go back and look at it later. And then when you're posting on Instagram, um, there's where it says the camera roll, you can actually pull straight from your favorites folder and choose one of those. So yeah, definitely, definitely just store up content. You don't have to deploy it right away. I hope you guys are learning a lot on live coaching. This is like getting a class for free. And this is, you know, Avery and I like practical tips. So I'm, here's the eight inch selfie ring. Um, we recommend to our clients, hold on. Yes, I know. I know. Um, we recommend to our clients, are you guys all seeing this? The 10 inch selfie ring, it's 36 99 us on prime. And that's the one we recommend. You can stick your phone on there. It's fantastic. We also have, um, a tall selfie ring that you can um, stand up as well. That one's great, but you shouldn't be spending more than, you know, 40 bucks on it. Um, and, and it's great to have it on your desk. Um, right now, Avery and I, it's dark out, obviously, we're sitting in front of some professional lighting, but it's 70 bucks for that lighting deck. And so if you are doing a lot of Zoom meetings, if you're doing live coaching, if you're doing webinars, um, if you're in network marketing and you are training your team, get some lighting. It's a business write-off. It yeah. is a great investment and in you're just your business. Look professional. You know, I just made it just, uh, and you're going to look younger. Up. You're going to look younger. Yes. And if that doesn't, you know, that's, that ring light is cheaper than oil of Olay. Like seriously, you're going to look, Botox. that's very true. It's cheaper than Botox. Yeah. You heard it from us. <laughs> get a ring light. Get a, than Botox. get a ring light. Not oh endorsed goodness. by us. We we're, don't. We're. Uh, we don't we're get. To get off we are. We are getting off kilter. It's the top of the hour anyway. Um. So we don't have time for more questions at this point. But um. Can you guys in the chat? What did you? What, did you learn something other than Avery and I are ridiculous? But did you learn something? <laughs> Diana, the president of the agency, is laughing at us. Yeah. <laughs> um, what did you learn? What did you learn? Content creation. Yes. Yes. And we guys, the next time we do live coach and we, you know, if you have a friend who's in business, we do this just absolutely free once a month. We want to serve this community. This is in our opinion, the most underserved community because you're not at the level yet where you're hiring a marketing team for, you know, a, an entry level, you know, 
marketing person for like, I don't know, five, $6,000 a month. You're not at the level yet where you're, you know, paying someone to do all your content. You have to wear all those hats yourself. Um, if you don't have a ticket for UME, go get one now. UME online dot live, UME online dot live. Maybe Diana can put it in the um, chat. And the code is wine time 50 because Avery made it up. Yes, but also your business is going to be thriving, so treat yourself to some wine. Yes, you know. Someone asked about business coaching, so I don't do business coaching. I do a service called Business Blueprint, where I literally will help you build the house of your business, um, and I'll be your architect. So we will go through your entire business, your business concept. We will take a look at everything from starting from lead generation to the team you need and everything. That's a service I offer. It's three hours. It's intense. Um, and then if you do want someone to work with your brand and your business, that is a new service we have with Avery. It starts with a discovery call. You contact contact us through the agency. Um, <laughs> <laughs> We're selling me as the service. So I'm being the, you know. Don't you get enough, like, wedding requests through Instagram? I like, do get a lot of marriage requests through Instagram. I don't know why someone would think I would say yes, but. I don't know. I, don't I know. also want to say, um, I, I want, someone asked earlier um, about me managing your Instagram account. See, Here's the thing. You give a man a fish, you feed him for a day. You teach a man to fish, you feed him for a lifetime. That's why I do one-on-one. Um, -on -one I raised my kids in church, can yes. you tell? <laughs> That's why I do one-on-one -on -one coaching with you guys because I, as much as I love you and appreciate you, um, I have a lot of accounts that I'm currently managing, so that's super limited. But I want to teach you how to do it yourself because you're the be you have the most knowledge of your brand. And think about the time that you could that you would have to spend training me on what it is you do and that could be spent deploying content. So I want to teach you guys how to do it instead of doing it for you because I love you and I appreciate She you. does. She talks about all of you all the time. I do. And it's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, th I think Bruce is a member of our family. And so you can hire Avery for a session um, through the agency. It's $97, I think. I don't know what it is. Diana, what is it? She, do, I don't know. Diana, I'm just the talent, apparently. I know nothing. The agent, Avery's coaching. How much is it? <laughs> you can hire for an hour. Go to agency8.com and she will, and whether it's TikTok or Instagram, she'll help you. And uh, so anyway, um, that's what I would do. And there's package deals, I see. I didn't even know that. So you can, you can hire Avery. We've got it all. We've got it all. And to Avery's point, um, I think it's really important that you learn how to master your social media because there are some things that are universal, but what Avery might do to work with Michael might be different than Sharon or Christina because they're doing different things, right? Yeah. So she's going to help you set, make sure your profile looks good, your content creation, that kind of stuff. Yes, there's another Organize Your Life, Ralph, coming up in October, and it is Organize Your Life for people who work from home because the landscape has changed um, since the last time that I did Organize Your Life. The agency. Nope. Mm -hmm. oh no. And so, um, anyway, um, that is coming up. If you're an alumni to Organize Your Life, you get a ridiculous price. I think Tisha's going to send you an, an invite or something. Also, as I said, I'm just the talent, like, really. <laughs> Also, someone, someone asked earlier if they were going to get a recording for UME. Yes, um, you will. We will be recording everything, so you will be able to get access to that after. And let's talk about how it works. So we're using um, a team out of Chicago that are amazing. We've invested a lot of money in this event. I mean, um, Dave Asprey is keynoting. I mean, he's, his, his content just his piece alone is worth like 10 times the ticket. Like mm -hmm. I'm blown away. So the way it works is live streamed, but even if you start up to four hours later, you're still going to get that live stream experience, but that's your, you can start up to four hours later. We know you've got work and stuff like that, but it starts noon Pacific on Friday the 25th. And then if you do have <clears throat> a ticket, you have access to the videos for up to three days. Yeah. And then Cassie was like, 
what if, you know, will there be step-by-steps? All the trainers are giving step-by-step. So even YouTube, Jeffrey gives like step-by-step. Um, eBay, he's giving step-by-step. Avery's giving step-by-step. Kieran does step-by-step ads. Casey does step-by-step. He is the number one podcast in the world for Gen Z. Mm-hmm. He tells you how to do this and also how he prospects for his guests. He had he interviewed, he interviewed Larry King. And uh, May Musk, who's Elon Musk's mom, he's hoping to get Elon on the show. So if any of you guys don't have any connection, you know. But no, he's interviewed a lot of people, so he's gonna really educate you guys. Um, I what I did see a question about a schedule. Um, all you should know is that Saturday is in my hands, so you know it's gonna be fantastic. Um, <laughs> will it be a little bit crazy? Yes, but in a good way. Um, and, um, and yeah, so you're going to be learning from me and my really good friends, uh, Casey, Kieran and Jeffrey. We all just got back from Montana together. We had a great time. Um, but yes, please. Also guys, um, she will never say this, but September 25th is my mom's birthday. So buy a ticket on behalf of her birthday, (laughs) you know, like she's giving up her birthday to be there with you guys. So I am a treasure. Thank you. You are, you are a treasure. Thank you. I'll sing some Bruno Mars for you. <laughs> and Diana's training on how you can start businesses for free. And there's never, it's never been a better time to have a side hustle, but you can have more than one side hustle. Like, mm-hmm. um, you know, Jeffrey, when he was on my show, he was talking about how he got started on eBay, just like selling coins and stuff like that. So anyway, it's going to be amazing. I can't wait to see you all there. Um, this has been it for live coaching. Will you guys do us a favor right now? Pull out your phone. And we're going to challenge you. We're going to do an Instagram challenge on your story. Are you guys ready? You guys ready? So I want you to take a picture and then tag us on Instagram in your story. Let's see if they can do it. Let's see. If Let's you can't see. do it, you got to be at Yumi because I'm going to teach you guys how to do that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so. yeah. Okay, so pose. let's see. Put up your phone, okay? Pull out your phone and then take a picture. <laughs> Oh, this is trouble. <laughs> yeah. This and then tag us on IG or you can tag us on Facebook too. Michael's doing, I like Michael's like got it all professional. <laughs> all right, guys, we love you so much. Please let us know what your takeaway. You never if told you, them what our Instagrams are. Yeah. At Susan Sly is mine. <laughs> and at Avery Sly. We've both got those OG usernames. <laughs> <laughs> and guys, whatever, hopefully you have gotten some value. Just my final message to you is the world needs what you have. You know, there's a lot of chaos in the world right now. It's going to be the small business owners that really liberate us. They're going to be the ones that solve all the problems we have now, putting people back to work. So get out there and hustle. Okay. So love you guys. Thank you. Thank you guys for being here. Appreciate it. Bye everyone. Thank you.